Does anyone remember when I encountered a never-before-seen Nick Jr. group McDonald's short where Ronald, Grimace and Birdie killed the Nick Jr. group? Well, I found it another never-before-seen short, but this time this isn't the McDonald's one, but it's something else, and get ready as I tell you this story. One day, I was walking home from school, however I noticed a box that I didn't notice. It had the Burger King logo and the Craig Mario fan production logo painted on it. I wonder who left this box here? I said to myself. I then took it home to see what's in it. When I opened up the box, it reveals to be a Super Craig Mario fan Galaxy DVD. I took a good look at it to see what it is. The cover featured some of the characters from Super Craig Mario fan Galaxy. Craig, Mario, Luigi, SpongeBob, Daniel Tiger, Thomas. Freddy, Willie, and Kermit at the Burger King sign with the Super Craig Mario Fan Galaxy logo and the Have It Your Away quote as Kermit was pointing at it, as he was saying it. Wowie, looks nice, I said. I then put the disc in my PlayStation 5. It showed the Burger King logo and the Craig Mario Fan production logo. It then showed the menu. The menu was different than the last one I saw. It featured all of the characters in the Comet Observatory. With the Burger King logo and the Super Craig Mario Fan Galaxy logo, the options were, Play Short, Visit Craig Mario Fan, YouTube Channel, and Visit Burger King.com. Wow, I'm really impressed of this menu, I said. I then clicked on Play Short so I can watch it, and, oh god. This is like the last one I saw. It began with a shot of the Burger King restaurant at night. There were no people in sight or no music. I can only hear the wind blowing and frogs croaking. At that moment, a bush was rustling. As it stopped, Craig popped out of the bush. He then came out of the bush along with the others coming out as, well, Craig then walked to the restaurant and talked to Mario, Luigi, Gil, Daniel Tiger, Spongebob, Barney, and the others. Alright guys, listen up. Molly has been kidnapped to this Burger King restaurant because somebody had kidnapped her. So Rosalina got on us to go in there and find her before it's too late. The gang look at the restaurant, feeling worried and confused at the same time. Guys, I'm scared. What if something horrible might have happened to Molly? Like, what if Bowser and the other villains might have got to her or something? Gil said, feeling worried about her girlfriend. Don't worry, Gil. I'm sure Molly is gonna be fine once we get her out of there. SpongeBob said. Trying to calm him down. How will we get in there, guys? Daniel Tiger asked. Maybe I can use Luma to spin to hit the door open. I mean, it might be locked. At the Mario mentioned. Everyone agreed with the idea. Mario, you are a genius! Una said. Mario then walked over to the door and spins around as the door opened as Luma popped out. Just like in the game. Okay, everybody, the door is open. Let's get inside. Mario told the others. Everybody then got inside of their restaurant. They took a peek to see if anyone is inside of their restaurant. The coast is clear. Bro B said. Everybody then got inside and began to look for Molly. Molly? Craig whispered. Molly, where are you? Gil whispered. Molly! Muno whispered. At that moment, evil laughter was then heard. Everyone heard it as Daniel Tiger got scared. What in the bloody hell was that laughter coming from? Mickey asked. I don't know, but we've a mate that Lotto is making me uncomfortable. Thomas said, feeling worried. Suddenly a light then appeared in the kitchen. Huh? What's light in the kitchen over there? Jeffy wondered. The gang then went into the kitchen. When they looked, they noticed as Molly, the main character of Bubble Guppies, who was tied up in a rope. Oh, guys, you found me! Molly said. Feeling happy that she was founded. Molly, did you get in here? Mr. Wolf asked. I don't know. I was minding my own business until boom. I just got kidnapped here. Molly said. Just then, the gang then heard SpongeBob screaming. SpongeBob! What's wrong, boy? Mr. Krabs said. SpongeBob pointed at what it was. And it was none other than the Burger King mascot himself. However, he had blood stains and he had black eyes with glowing red pupils. The gang gasped seeing him. He then started to speak in a distorted voice. Hello, Burger Rose. 
Who are you? What do we heard this Burger King last week, huh? Craig, Mario, Luigi, Gil, Mickey Mouse, SpongeBob, Chase, and Thomas walked over to him to confront him. So you were the one who kept up our friend, huh? Craig berated in anger. What did you want her for anyway? Mickey shouted. Oh, see, our argument for our thought is up to the humans, since we're really not as meat. Our other person acts as an antithetical, so that explains why I came up to a moment, friend. He said as he chuckled. You, you can't do that? SpongeBob shouted. Gil then ran up to the Burger King mascot to punch him, but out of nowhere Luigi Doppelganger kicked Gil in the face, causing Gil to skid on the floor, as everybody gasped. Hey, who's that son of a gun? Clone Mario said in confusion. At that moment, the Doppelganger took off his mask revealing to be no other than Miss Arigi himself. What the you and why do you look like Luigi? Pablo asked. It is I, Miss Arigi! Misery, G? A confusing Thomas said. Yeah, that's right. But Miss Reggie and I are partners, and we are going to be making money. We are going to make so we can sell them to the humans, and you guys are not going to stop us. The Burger King mascot said. Tyron then made moose noises and charged at the two of them, but however the two dodged, causing Tyron to hit his head on the table and stepping on a pedal which caused Molly to go flying as they fell right into the fryer. Molly began to scream in pain as she was being deep-fried. After that, Molly then fainted as she then died. Craig and the others gasped while Bubble Puppy's eyes and mouth widened. No! Craig exclaimed. Molly! Gil said in horror. Gil went on his knees and began crying in a realistic way as realistic tears went down his eyes. Muno clenched his fist. You monster! Muno yelled in anger. Oh, oh my god! Molly! I'm so sorry! Tyron yelled in horror as he was upset about what he had done. Oh, I'm sorry, Moose Boy, but that was your own fault for charging at us. Now, who's next? Miss Arigi yelled out. Tyron then got up and charged at Miss Arigi. Hits his head on the table again. But however on the table was a bowl of knives as it was about to fall on the orange moose. He looked up as his eyes shrinked and shocked. Oh, crap. He said as his final words. The bowl of knives then fell onto Tyrone as the knives were stabbing him. And it stabbed into his eyes and head. He let out a blood-curling scream as the knife stabbed him. He then fell to the floor as the orange moose was no more. Tyrone! Tasha cried. Oh yeah, and by the way, Miss Luigi and I are alone, because we've got some friends with us to talk to you. The Burger King mascot said, as he said that, the villains then came out of the darkness. The villains were, Bowser, Bowser Jr., Dr. Eggman, Metal Sonic, the Deadly Six, the villainous characters, Darth Tubby, the evil Gabbas, Sweetie, Claw, Mayor Humdinger, Tex, and many other villains, as Craig and the others were shocked. Well, 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 what do we have here? If nice and Craig and his team in the Burger King restaurant. Tex greeted in a sinister way. Oh, this can't be good. Gobi said whimpering. Everybody, scatter! Mickey yelled out on the top of his lungs. Everybody ran and hide so they won't find them. As they went off screen, Evil Muno then said. Let's split it! And kill everyone. It then faints to a scene with Daniel Tiger hiding under the table. He was whimpering, not wanting to be killed. At that moment he heard someone laughing evilly. He took a peek and saw Evil Plex lurking around. What is that thing? He whispered. Suddenly, Evil Plex looked and found a Daniel Tiger as his eyes shrinked and shocked. Evil Plex said. Daniel Tiger screamed as Evil Plex grabbed a katana. He then sliced off his head as he screamed in pain and falls to the floor, ending poor Daniel Tiger. It then showed Mario and Luigi looking around for any villains to attack. But when they weren't looking, a table was moving in the air by itself. Luigi then looked at his brother and said, Mario, do you have a feeling someone's ahead of us? 
Suddenly the table then got thrown at Mario and Luigi at the wall really hard. They screamed really loudly in pain as blood splattered everywhere. Mario and Luigi then died. The figure unblended, and it revealed to be no other than William Afton from the Five Nights at Freddy's movie as he then said, It cuts to the Yo Gabba Gabba characters hitting in the kitchen. Fufa whimpered as she was starting to get scared. Tex and the evil Gabbas then came in to find the original Gabbas. <laughs> evil Bro B sang. Suddenly Tex then grabbed Fufa by her leg and flies away with his jetpack. Fufa began screaming as she was flying away as the four Gabbas gasped. Mino cry. Hey fat flower girl, wanna know something to remember back in 2020 to 2nd of May? Tex asked. I don't know! Why? Fufa answered. Well say hello. <laughs> Tex yelled as his voice fades into a demonic voice. Fufa's eyes wide and shocked. He then thrown her outside and the mismatched toy arms grabbed her as she was inside of the trash can. The trash can rattled as I can hear Fufa's blood curling scream, blood splattering and the mismatched toy arms laughter. Fufa then got thrown out. Her face was fully ripped off. Her arms were missing, and one of her bones were coming out of her knee. Fufa, no! Muno cried as tears were running down his eyes. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Bro B moaned. He then vomited onto the floor. Thing, Plex yelled. Now since that fat flower's gone, you guys are gonna join her as well. Evil Toot said as the evil Gabas were walking towards the original Gabas. Oh, this is just great! Toot said in anger and whimpering too. It was nice knowing you guys! It was nice knowing you! Muno said as his final words. The evil Gabas then murdered Muno. Broby and Toot as Plex ran for his life. Evil Fufa stabbed Muno in the head with a chainsaw. Evil Broby throws a bucket of lava onto Broby to make his body melt. And Evil Muno, Evil Plex and Evil 2D killed 2D by freezing her to death. It went on and on as the villains murder the other heroes. But I'm lazy to say. Them out. It then cuts to Craig, Plex and Gil as they were the only three left. Okay Plex, Gil, let's sneak out of here. Craig whispered. The three then got out and tiptoed away, but suddenly, out of nowhere, Bowser came and kicked them causing them to go on the floor. And where do you think you're going, huh? Plex then got up and ran up to him, but just then, Black Hat then kicked him outside causing Plex to break the window as Plex rolled down. He then got up and tries to get inside, William Afton then looked and said, a robot has no weakness. Plex yelled. Just then Sweetie and William Afton then threw deep frying oil as it's gonna land on Plex. Oh, rust buckets. Plex said. The deep frying oil then landed on to Plex. The yellow robot began to malfunction and short circuit. He said his final words to Craig and Gil, but his voice was glitchy and distorted. Craig, <laughs> Gil, no. Plex then exploded as many of his parts flew everywhere as Craig and Gil were shocked. Craig ran the other way, but suddenly a lightsaber then stabbed right through his chest as he collapses onto the floor. Gil backed away from the villains but he tripped. You're bluffing! Gil yelled. Oh we Black Hat said sisterly. It then fades to black. Gil can be heard screaming as the villains killed him. It showed Gil's dead body. His eye was ripped out. His mouth was agape. One of his arms were missing, and blood was leaking out of his head. Looks like those heroes were probably dead to defeat, wasn't it, guys? Evil Plex asked. The villains nodded. They then left the restaurant off screen, laughing evilly. It then cuts to the credits. In the background was a distorted music of the Gateway Galaxy music box as it shows many images of what happened to all of the characters. 
Like Molly's fried body, Tyrone stabbed head and eyes by the knife, Daniel Tiger with his head chopped off, Mario and Luigi smashed by, the table, all away to Gil's dead body, it fades to black as it went back to the menu with no unnamed animator who made it. I was terrified about what I witness, I decided to record the footage and posted it onto YouTube, as it was uploading, I smashed the DVD with a hammer, and threw it in the bin. I then decided to listen to some Mario Galaxy music to get my mind of it, but seriously though. Whatever you guys do, if you see a box placed out of nowhere, just stay away from it, or else.